and welcome to Chapter Skip. I'm Sean. And I'm Joe. And I'm Mark. And we're bringing you movie reviews with a twist. And today we're looking at the film Big Ass Spider. <laughs> In February, we did a trailer review for the movie Big Ass Spider, and for a change, we were all united in our opinions and were looking forward to seeing this film. And now that it's finally been picked up for distribution, the movie is currently doing the rounds in US cinemas and on demand, with it hopefully being available in the UK by the end of the year. The film stars Greg Grunberg, who most of you may recognise from the TV series Heroes. Or you may have spotted him in the video game L.A. Noire, where he played the character of Hugo Moller. This time around though, Greg stars as Alex Mathis, an exterminator with a slight cash flow problem. Although, that could be rectified if he stopped taking payments in cakes instead of cash from his loyal customers. Still, when you've got the awesome Lynn Shea as a customer, then I guess you're doing alright really. Then again, his day does start to go downhill after he gets bitten by a spider. Not one of the big ass variety, fortunately, as that would have been terminal. But still, it's one that's enough to force him to go to hospital to get the bite looked at. Guys, do you mind if I just pause the video a second? Bust him for a wee? Go on then. Every bloody time. What do you reckon's taken him so long? I don't know. You know what he's like. <laughs> what was that? Don't know. Do you think he's caught himself in his zip? <sighs> Probably. We better go check it out. Yeah, all right then. I ain't touching it though. No. Ugh. Oh! Guys! I think something bit my penis! Red and swollen and infected. Hold right on, let's have a look at it. Can't see anything. Can one of you two suck the poison out? <laughs> yeah, right. Not after last time. No way, I ain't doing that, I'm afraid. You're gonna have to do it yourself, Sean. Yeah. Good luck. We'll carry on with the review, mate. Have fun. All is going well until someone gets bitten by the, not the big ass spider, but the bigger than average spider. From then on, Alex goes on the hunt for it with the help of hospital security guard Jose, who's played by Lombardo Boyar. From then on, the hunt is on as the spider goes on the rampage, and only Alex and Jose, with the help from the US military, stand any chance of stopping it. Which comes in the form of Lieutenant Carly Brank, played by Claire Kramer. And her senior officer, Major Braxton Tanner, who's played by Ray Weiss. Interestingly, Claire Kramer starred in the film Grave Dancers, which was directed by Mike Mendes, who also done this film Big Ass Spider. And you may have spotted Ray Weiss in the original Robocop, where he played bad guy Leon Nash. Anyhow, the unlikely grouping of a pest exterminator, a security guard, and the US military is the only thing that seems capable of hunting down and hopefully dealing with the arachnid menace that has gone from a pretty big honking spider to a holy shit that spider's huge and it's just that Lloyd Kaufman! And from there it goes to a ah! It's a big ass spider! But what's the bloody matter with him now then? I don't know. I'll go have a look, yeah? Alright, mate. Ah! How was that all about? Uh -huh. I want that! That spider's tiny! On a side note, the movie's actually suitable for younger viewers too, as there's no rude stuff and I didn't notice a single swear word either. Sure there's some CGI blood here and there, and one instance of face melting. Yeah, but I mean the stuff at the end of Raiders of the Lost Ark was far gorier than that, and we watched that as kids, and we turned out fine. This film opened up with a sweet Pixies cover, adding the horror legends that are Lynn Shea and Lloyd Kaufman, topped off with great CGI and a good storyline. This really got my spider senses tingling. The only downfall is that Greg Grunberg looked a lot like Dom Jolly. I had a really good time watching this movie, from the slow-mo opening sequence to the little bit that was tucked away in the end credits that had what was probably the crappiest prop ever, besides ours. 
Greg Grunberg played his character really well and had just the right amount of bumbling charm to make his character really likeable. Sure, if you want to pick the movie apart, then you will find a lot of plot issues and so on, but that's not what this sort of film is about. It's for sitting back, having fun, and seeing a bunch of people getting eaten by a big-ass spider. Now fortunately, it's not one of the big ass variety that bites him, as that would be terminal. Terminable. <laughs> the film stars Greg Grunberg, who made Moo. Who made Moo. Who made Moo, Matt. Who made Moo, Moo. Who made Moo. Still, when you've got the awesome Lin Shea as a customer, then I guess you're doing alright, really. Still, so, saying that, his day does start. <laughs> <laughs> He's a little bit carried away. I actually don't know why. A bite from that would have been terminal, but still, he has to go to hospital to get his bite looked at. <laughs> the film stars Greg Grunberg, who may have moved. Oh, damn it, I did it again. I've had it. May have, may have, mo. But sorry, yeah, let's get it right. Let me just say it again in my mouth. <laughs> in my mouth, that's what you usually do.